Gemini, welcome to your December 2017 general tarot reading. It's Raina here. I had to start over. I thought I heard something. I hear hammering or something, so I apologize in advance. I'd really like to get out this reading if I can because it's close to the end of November. And um, But anyway, I wanted to just give you a couple of announcements or what have you. First of all, if you're looking for a love reading or an astrology reading for the month of December, check my channel because I've already posted those. And the other thing I wanted to let you know is that I am offering 20% off of all my readings through the end of 2017. So there's a, a link below to my website. The coupon code is JUPITER with all caps, capital letters. Okay. Now, in terms of this, this is a general focus. And the heart of the matter is the Three of Cups. This can be a card that relates to multiple parties involved in a situation. So obviously three parties, um, three, there's a lover's triangle. Uh, because there are cups, it's more of an emotional affair. It's not just like a fling. Although this card could indicate if you are a woman that your partner is having you know multiple is womanizing I guess even if you were a woman with another woman she could be womanizing too right um, but there could be like other people involved let's put it that way and this could just be like you socializing in some cases it can be drinking too much so there's a an issue of um, partying going, you know, spiraling out of control, but it could simply be that you are um, enjoying yourself. Maybe you were in a relationship that was keeping you down. In terms of career matters, it can be um, that there is a workplace situation. Maybe um, people are ganging up on you. It doesn't have to be negative. Maybe there's, a, there's camaraderie in the office. And it's almost like a family or like this group of friends that you just happen to work with. But because of the past position, I'm beginning to think that there's some kind of plotting against certain Geminis in the workplace. Deception. Um, this is a card that says you don't really know what's going on. Now, this is in the past position. But maybe you found out that your co-workers were really acting all nice to your face but they were basically um, trying to sabotage you and we even have here in the present position a person who is like an authority figure uh, this is the king of wands this person is pretty cool you know this person may actually like you and it's these other people that are the snakes who are trying to bring you down and maybe this person is even the one telling you what's going on this can also be that the person is the father of your child if this is a personal situation this person is the father of your child and as such you feel obligated to be with him uh, even though you feel like he's not being faithful he could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or have a fiery temperament that kind of may indicate that he has fire in his his chart, and that is kind of like, especially as a rising sign that people see right away in his personality. The higher message is the Nine of Swords. This is a card of anxiety. And in, I would say as a spiritual message, this card says anything that brings you anxiety should be looked at. In other words, your life isn't supposed to be full of pain. So if there are areas where you feel like the sense of oppression and anxiety, instead of shoving it under the rug, and in some cases maybe drinking too much or, or using other substances to escape what is happening, it's important to sit with your feelings, really understand that these are feelings that you have and not try to run away, but try to figure out a way to get what you want. 
And sometimes getting what you want is just peace of mind. But your your peace of mind is you know more valuable than money or being able to say that you're married and, and, and things like that. So it's all up to an individual who is experiencing suffering within a, in this area of life to change that for themselves. Geminis are capable, very capable of change, but sometimes you may be out of touch with your feelings and then you don't know that you need to change. That That's what can be the problem. Oh, let me do this one. What crosses you is represented by the five of wands. So again, just like that three of cups, it's like this card. This is like dog eat dog. And a lot of people, I would say especially where I'm from in America, I think that competition is like fun and great. But I think competition really is detrimental. I mean, obviously, to a certain level, we are competing with one another when we are in a, in a business situation, any situation you may uh, face that on some level, but when it is unbridled uh, ambition, that's when people tend to violate their ethics and try to walk all over people. Uh, the Five of Wands can also indicate that conflict is something that you may be used to and that's why you tolerate it. The, the, it, it could be talking about this king of wand, or well, yeah, wands person who is actually toxic for you. And that you, for some reason, feel like you need to be with this person. What is coming in the near future is represented by the Queen of Wands. And this is something uh, shifts within you. You do have a full moon on December 3rd in your sign. And I guess it's a super moon from what I understand. And maybe you are kind of um, letting go of a way of being. And that is the beginning of a new you. And um, that allows you to make the necessary changes in your life because, because a full moon can be endings. And so that nine of swords points to something that needs to come to an end, whether it's a job situation that is very toxic. Maybe the environment is very toxic. Maybe your boss is great, but the people are the problem and they're not going away. So you realize that you need to do something about this. The Queen of Wands is a woman who is very confident and she's a career woman. She's someone who is very happy consistently. She's not moody, but she tends to sometimes like attention, kind of is, is a bit of a diva. If this is somebody in your life that could be um, coming in, or it could be a mother figure, but it could be an aspect of you that you are um, kind of taking charge of your life again. Maybe you allowed yourself to spend too much time trying to make other people happy or to ignore what was right under your nose, and now you need to... Um, kind of step into your power, and for some reason, um, you're able to do so. And this, like I said, with the full moon in your sign at the beginning of the month of December, that may be kind of a turning point for you in some way. The outcome is the Justice card. So obviously, if you are in a marriage situation where there is some kind of infidelity and you, it's really like upsetting you, you may uh, seek legal counsel and eventual divorce. If there is a workplace situation where you feel that you're being unfairly targeted or otherwise thwarted, you may go to human resources and try to deal with it there. So 
so yeah, I, there's all kinds of possibilities, obviously.